existence of biocontrol agents. So let us see the first of all the definitions of biocontrol agents. So different definition was given by the different scientists. That means it is nothing but the control of plant pathogens and disease caused by them through the antagonistic microorganism is termed as biological control agent or another definition that is called as it is a reduction of inoculum or disease producing activity of pathogen accomplished by one or through one or more an organism other than man that means reduction of inoculum disease producing activity of pathogen that means what the infections ability of pathogen we have to reduce or minimize by the use of biocontrol agents like trichoderma bacillus subtilis then uh, pseudomonas fluorescens etc or in many entomopathogenic fungus like metarhizium anisopili then uh, then uh, hanpv that is helicoverpa nucleopolyhydrosis virus etc so by the utilization of such a biocontrol agent we can minimize the intensity of such a disease without utilization of any chemical so this is called as an uh, biocontrol agents then it may be also includes the some predators microbes and parasites that feed upon them next why we need biological control agent because if we use the chemical pesticides so as we know that it causes hazards or ill effects on the environment and the human health then it is toxic to the beneficial and pathogenic species that means definitely it controls the pathogens but along with that harmful pathogen it kills the beneficial pathogen which is present in soil and it is expensive in nature which requires regular treatment to the seed and soil then as compared to that biological control agent so as we know that there is no involvement of chemicals while using of that biocontrol agent so it does not cause or it, it is not toxic to the humans and animals it does not cause any kind of pollution as we know that chemical pesticides causes a uh, soil or water or air pollution after the application but in case of biocontrol agent it does not cause such a kind of pollution it is host specific that means that biocontrol agent kills the specific harmful pathogen it does not cause harm to the other pathogens or other beneficial pathogen which is present in soil or the seed then it is only effective one or few species that means as we already discussed about that that is host specific next one why to use bio biological control agents so let us we compare about that biocontrol agents are low in cost it does not require so much labor so cost is also less that is labor intensive as we discuss here host specific but even though that chemical pesticides are also have the cost effective in nature easy to apply and broad spectrum that is it controls different types of the diseases but it having when we use the chemical pesticide so it having ill effects or harmful effects on the environment and the human health so that biocontrol agent is used instead of chemical pesticides definitely it uh, when we use biocontrol agent so it requires a uh, more time but whatever the result is obtained so that result is good as compared to the uh, residues of that chemical pesticides next how does biological control works or what is the actual mechanism of biocontrol agents so in that the nutrient competition then the uh, antibiosis then tolerance to stress via enhanced root and plant development in activation of pathogen enzyme induced resistance mycoparasitism these are all kind of mechanism of the biocontrol agent that means through that the most of the pathogen is controlled through that mechanism 
so in that we first discuss about the nutrient competition so nutrient competition that means what uh, when we apply uh, any biocontrol agent like by uh, trichoderma viride or bacillus subtilis whatever it may be so when we apply to the soil so that trichoderma or bacillus absorb the nutrient which is present in soil for its growth so due to that there is a less nutrient is present in soil or the depletion of nutrient in the soil is takes place and due to depletion of nutrient the whatever is the harmful microorganism present in soil so for that microorganism nutrient is not available as much it requires so that due to the unavailability of proper nutrient to the harmful pathogen there is a decrease the intensity of such a harmful pathogen so there is an a competition in between the harmful pathogen and biocontrol agent for their nutrients so due to that intensity of harmful pathogen is decrease second one is their antibiosis so as we know that antibiosis means what when one microorganism for example trichoderma viride during their growth it secrete the toxic substances for example viridin trichoderma secretes a toxic chemical during their growth that is called as an viridin when that viridin comes in contact with other harmful pathogen in soil so that viridin chemical which is secreted by trichoderma so it is completely killed the harmful pathogen which is present in soil for example fusarium alternaria pythium rhizoctonia such a pathogen is easily killed by the uh, substance which is secreted by the trichoderma viride that is biocontrol agent and that substance is called as an antibiotics and that phenomenon is called as an antibiosis next one it tolerate to the stress when we apply the biocontrol agent so the it uh, that such a plant it tolerate to the stress via by uh, due to the development of the roots next it inactivation of pathogen enzymes that means trichoderma viride or such a other biocontrol agents that helps for the inactivation of enzymatic activity of harmful pathogen next the resistance ability of the plant is induced or increase because during the growth of the plant that biocontrol agent it secrete a certain metabolites or the antibiotics and due to that uh, resistance ability of the pathogen is quite increase next one is mycoparasitism so myco means as we know that myco means fungus and parasites means what dependents so mycoparasitism means what when one fungus is completely depends on other fungus it is called as an mycoparasitism so as we know that for example trichoderma viride is a name of fungus is completely depends on the other fungus for example the fungus of fusarium rhizoctonia pythium etc so this is called as an mycoparasitism that is trichoderma fungus depends on the other harmful fungus for their food material so it is called as an mycoparasitism so this is all about the uh, mechanism of biological control agents next some of the biocontrol agents which is available in the market that is as we know that uh, which is called as an trichoderma hargeanum or trichoderma hargeanum having a different strain that is ag3 or ag2 so uh, that controls the uh, different diseases on different crops that is fusarium pythium rhizoctonia on the that disease that occurs on the cucurbits vegetables flowers mostly agronomic uh, or the uh, horticultural crops etc next how that effective here that is application methods so application methods in case of that that biocontrol agents is also used for the seed treatment tuber or rhizome or cutting treatment uh, then seedling treatment we have to use 
so in case of that for seed treatment the dose is required of biocontrol agent is 4 to 5 gram per kg of seeds so very simple method that is make a paste or slurry by adding 5 gram in 10 5 gram of trichoderma viridi or any biocontrol agent in 10 to 20 ml of water then in that water we have to put 1 kg of required seeds on the paste or the slurry and mix properly to coat the seeds uniformly that is uniform coating is done in that way we have to mix with that water then dried in the shade such as seeds which is coated with the biocontrol agents for the 20 to 30 minutes before the sowing and after that we have to sow the seeds so such as seeds are protected from the different soil borne pathogens like fusarium, rhizoctonia, pythium etc next tuber rhizome or cutting treatment so the dose is required for biocontrol agent that is 10 gram of biocontrol agent per liter of water so very simple we have to take 1 liter of water add 10 gram of any biocontrol agent like bacillus or trichoderma viridi make a solution and in that solution dip the tubers rhizomes or the uh, cuttings of different crops for example rhizomes of different crops that is that is the rhizome of uh, rhizome of uh, turmeric we have to dip in such a solution wait for a period of or keep as it is for a period of 15 minutes and after that we have to dry it in shade for a 10 to 20 minutes and after that we have to use it for the sowing so in that way we use that biocontrol agent for tubers rhizome and cutting treatment next seedling treatment so in case of seedling treatment very simple here we have to uh, the required dose of biocontrol agent that is 300 gram per hectare so prepare the suspension at a rate of 5 to 10 gram per liter of water and dip the required roots of seedling for 10 to 15 minutes after 10 to 15 minutes shade it or shade or dry for 15 minutes before the transplanting so mostly in rice crop we have to do that next one nursery bed treatment so in case of nursery bed treatment the required dose is 250 gram for 400 or 500 square meter nursery bed so how we have to do that prepare a suspension by adding 250 gram of biocontrol agent in 50 liters of water and drench the nursery bed soil then mix the 250 gram in 2 kg of cow dung or compost or FIM that means 250 gram of a uh, biocontrol agent we have to mix with a uh, 2 kg of cow dung or compost or FIM and spread over near about 400 to 500 square meter nursery bed area then irrigate such a bed immediately for a short duration and after that we have to use the seedling for the planting next one for the soil treatment so for direct bore broadcasting we have to use 300 gram per hectare of that biocontrol agent then for awaited broadcasting we have to also use 300 gram per hectare of that dose then next for furrow application again we have to use the same dose that is 300 gram of biocontrol agent per hectare of land so such a dose are given so in furrow applications it is mostly uh, effective for the root crops like potato, ginger, turmeric etc. The mixture is applied in furrows at the time of earthing of or after the 25 to 30 days of planting. Next one we discuss about the uh, another uh, characteristics or how we have to identify that trichoderma or bacillus or another uh, pseudomonas species so that we discuss in next lecture thank you